Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sean from Catch22 and the Nonprofit Academy. And today's video, we're gonna be talking all about communities, community building, and how to leverage online communities to grow your nonprofit. Now we've talked about communities in the past. We've done a couple webinars on it. We've done a couple videos on the channel about it, but communities are starting to take off with platforms like Nas.io and Circle and Give Suite Communities and things like that. People are really starting to blow up on the online community space because it's a way for content creators and companies to shift off of traditional social media platforms and onto privatized platforms where it's your target audience engaging with your specific stuff, where you control the flow of the content, you control the algorithms, you control everything. This is why platforms, like I said, like Nas.io are taking off and Circle and, you know, fortunately, unfortunately, OnlyFans, where people can control their content and control what they're seeing and build an audience of curated people who want to be part of that situation. So how does that relate to your nonprofit? Very simple. Nonprofits are communities. They're offline communities. They're also can be online communities. And a lot of nonprofits are starting to understand that you got to be online and offline in order to maximize the potential and the reach that your organization has. So by creating an online community, you're, you're able to expand your reach because you're able to bring people into your ecosystem. You bring people into your space and continue to showcase the work that you're doing, get them involved, even if they're not physically in that state or city that you're located in. By creating an online community, you'll be able to take the existing content, the existing materials, the existing work that you're doing, put it out into a forum, and get people to take part in the different challenges and take part in the different activities online and get them to start a chapter, get them to start a situation in your own in your own space. WhatsApp has been doing this for years. What The WhatsApp platform has been doing this for years. WhatsApp groups have been huge in certain communities. A lot of religious communities leverage WhatsApp groups for advertising, for monetization, for community outreach and growth, and they work very, very well. So with your nonprofit, you can leverage these different tools, whether you wanna do WhatsApp, which doesn't cost anything, or you wanna get behind one of these paywalled companies such as Circle or Give Suite Communities and leverage that it's a, it's a big opportunity that's not to be taken lightly because this is how people are going to start sharing their content nowadays and really, really try to get off the big box platforms like Meta and Twitter and Instagram and everything like that. So by taking, taking what you already do, putting it behind a paywall, you're able to either, whether for pay or for whatever, you're able to monetize, you're able to grow, you're able to build your list and scale, and you're able to accomplish multiple things. It's just like podcasting. You're able to accomplish multiple things by doing one thing, to deploy, create once, deploy many. So if you're looking to leverage communities and learn more about online communities and how you can do it, you can check out my upcoming webinar all about elevating your community, accelerating the giving by using commu online community platforms to engage your audience, to grow your people, grow your communities, grow your list and turn into donors. I'm going to post a link to that coming up. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it. And I will catch you guys on the next upload.